Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, following a series of questions, I've talked about it, but sometimes it's nice to kind of talk about it again uh, from time to time. You know, I've got new viewers and, and there's new people in this channel all the time. Um, what's a VPN? Why is it used? Why should I need one or not? And here's the thing. So a VPN is a vi virtual private network. A VPN is basically a encrypted tunnel between your computer and whatever other computer you're actually um, contact contacting on the web. So using a VPN actually makes you ultra secure because nobody nowhere can actually see what you're doing. Technically we should all be in a VPN. Honestly to be really secure to be at the best level possible the world, the perfect world, means that we would all be in VPNs all the time when we access the internet. And that would make us secure. But the real world aspect of VPNs is different. Stock operating systems like Windows, for example, don't have VPNs in it. Uh, Linux doesn't have a VPN built in, unless you have a special version that does have one. <coughs> Mac doesn't have a VPN unless you install one. And the difference is because, for example, when you go on websites, you know, there's ads and these ads, of course, have tracking and all of that is working in a, a, a world where things are not super encrypted. Now, you might say, oh, well, there's HTTPS, so it's like a VPN. It's not. HTTPS means the website you're going to is secure, but it has ways of snooping on you. The website can do a lot of things to figure out you know, who you are and what you actually like. And it, they want to do that because they want to have ads served to you that you might be interested in. But when you're in a VPN, this doesn't work anymore. Because in a VPN, you can actually spoof. You can use a VPN from anywhere around the world and say, hey, um, although I'm based in Canada, um, you'll go to a website and it's going to show up, oh, well, you are from, you know, um, Bulgaria because you can choose in a VPN from where the connection comes from. So it's kind of hiding yourself a little bit. You're somewhere, but you're actually in using another computer from somewhere else to connect. <coughs> so that's also the other side of it. You can spoof your location. A lot of people use VPNs to f access content. For example, there's a lot of content from the United States that is unavailable in Canada. But you use a VPN and you actually use a connection from the United States, that content is going to play because it will think you're in the United States because you're passing through a computer that's there to give you all the information about, you know, the Internet and whatever you're asking. Um, if you connect to Wi-Fi, public Wi-Fi, um, a VPN is a great way to stay secure because you're encrypted all the way now. And that makes it impossible, pretty much, for anyone to actually view what you're doing. Of course, if you live in a country or a state that is a little problematic on the privacy side, on snooping on you, or if you're scared that your own governments, you know, uh, UK, whatever, US, Canada, is maybe snooping on what you do, a VPN is a great way to stop that snooping from happening. Now, VPNs come in software form for the most part. There's also hardware VPNs that exist. But for the most part, a VPN will be something you download. It will be something you install on your PC. Uh, two types of VPNs exist, free VPNs and paid VPNs. Technically, a paid VPN is better in a lot of cases because it is more, um, it, it will like not snoop on you as much. A free VPN might, in exchange for the fact that it's free, actually snoop on you a little bit. There are some VPNs that are known to actually um, totally snoop on its users while you're actually under encrypted tunnel. So this is something that you got to understand. And um, not all VPNs are created equal. Some are better than others. And we'll, um, I'll, I'll be looking at that and trying to create maybe a list of a few VPNs that are known to be some of the best uh, one drawback of a VPN is speed. 
sometimes because the fact that you hop onto other computers so you're using a computer from another country for example that might slow down your internet browsing it might actually create sometimes some um, you know uh, buffering of videos it depends on the VPN and of course once again paid VPNs often perform better than free VPNs but uh, to put things simple it's a private really a private encrypted tunnel between you and another part of the internet so that you can actually have no one snooping on you if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching